Hello and welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today we're going to talk about groups and sets and kind of compare them and let you see what the impact of the different groups are, or the different types are. First of all, we're going to create a group. Uh, this, is infra this is data downloaded from Kegel.com about the San Francisco Police Department's incidents um, for the last you know, decade or so. So you can see we've got the category here, larceny, other offenses, non-criminal, assault, etc., etc. I would like to create a group that is related to property crimes. So what I'll do is I'll hit Control and then left click. So I'm going to select larceny, vehicle theft, vandalism, burglary. I'm going to hold off on robbery. Let's keep coming down here. Stolen property. I'll put in a recovered vehicle. And I'm going to actually keep some of these for a different group that I'm going to create. Okay. Now you put your curs the mouse over one of the highlighted items. You can see keep only, exclude, sort, ascending, descending, and here's what we want, group members. I'm going to click that. Now, I want to edit that group. A lot of things you can see here. I'm going to rename this. This is what I'm going to rename this category level one. All right. You go through here and you see that all of these categories are still here. And then you see the one that I just selected, or just grouped together, has kind of a funny name. So I'm going to select that, come down here to say where it says group, rename, and ungroup. I'm going to hit rename. I'm going to call this property. Let's see if I can spell it right. Property crimes. Now I have another option here that says include other. I'm going to do that just for just so you can see what's happening. So everything else is going to be grouped into this other category. So let me hit OK. And now I've got two categories, other and property crimes. Let me come back here to edit group. I want to see all the other buckets. So I'm going to deselect include other. I'm also going to come up here rename. I, this time I just clicked on it, right click, rename. I'm going to put this all in caps because since that seems to be the uh, format for everything else. Click OK. And now you can see that property crimes is listed with everything else. Well, there's a couple other groups that I'd like to create. So come under here, edit groups, I'd like to go through here and do um, sex crimes, pornography, prostitution, sex offenses, forcible and non-forcible. I think those are the only four. And now I'm going to hit group. Same type of deal. Now I can rename this sex crimes. Let's do it in all caps. Click OK, and now I have property crimes. Come down further, I have sex crimes. Where this becomes helpful with these different groups, I'm now going to go over to a map I created previously called the incident map. I'm going to add, so if I added just categories, let's just do this here, show filter, all these different items, I can select them. Um, these are the items I want to see. However, let's remove that. Now let's move over the level one. Let's see, show filter. And now I can quickly select, if I can scroll down here, quickly select property crimes. And it pops up. Now, if I were to come over here, let's go back edit group, include other, everything falls under other. So now I have quickly have three groups. I can call it sex crimes, 
property crimes, and all other. Works great. Let me get rid of that and pull this off. Now, let's see here. Level one up here, we're going to replace that with category again. Descending. Now let's create sets. Very similar. We're going to press the control and select it with the left key, um, vehicle theft. I probably am not going to get the same ones, but you'll get the idea. And stolen property, covered vehicle. Okay. Again, go over the item. Come over here. Instead of the, the paper clip, we're going to go to the Venn diagram and create set. Okay, and we're going to call this property crimes. Okay, and you'll see you've got dimensions, measures, and now the property crimes is a separate group called sets. And the way this is going to work, it's a kind of a yes/no. Is it in a pro is it a property crime or not? So we'll put this over here, property crime. Now everything that's a property crime shows up. Or if we move it down to color, oops, get rid of this one. Move it down to move it up to color, just the property crimes are selected. Where this gets kind of powerful is where you can now come through and you'll say, let's do again, let's create another set. We're going to call larceny, assault, robbery, weapons laws, and let's see, we'll pick one more, kidnapping. We're going to create another set. We have a couple options here. We're going to create a new set. We can add those items to the already existing property crimes, or we can move them from the property crimes. We're going to create a set. We're going to call this violent crimes. Now remember, this is a yes-no item. So what we can do now is we can start to overlay these different items. Let's take a look at violent crimes that are also against properties. And there's only one. Violent crimes that are properties, we can move the properties onto the color tab. And now you can see that there's only one that fits both. So it's a slightly different. Um, the one thing, going back to our map, if we were to add property crimes, it's just a yes-no. The filter is just going to be on the items, the categories that were in the property crimes. It doesn't give you the option to do property crimes and everything else. Uh, also, if you were to bring the violent crimes up here, they... Um, it's the union of those two data sets, so it only has the larceny and theft. One of the things you can do now going back, sometimes we let's actually create a new worksheet. Let's bring over the level one crime for the row, number of records for the columns again, sort it. Well, this is interesting, but we'd like to have a little bit more information. What crimes are covered in these different categories? Now we can bring the category group over. Let's change this to ascending. Ascending. And now you can see we're going to change this to descending. And you can see we've got the sex crimes, what's listed property crimes, what's listed, and then other crimes. So this allows you to do um, nesting reports. You could do different filtering as well. Edit the group. And now if we wanted, what do we got here? Sex crimes, property crimes. Let's say that this is family offense or forgery. 
we can actually, uh, let's see, it's too far. Let's do bad checks. It's a property crime. You can actually left click and drag it up. Now bad checks is under the property crimes. You can remove it. Another thing that we can do is we, uh, we have the property crimes up here. Hover over the vehicle theft or left click on the vehicle theft. You can add it to the property crimes or violent crimes. Now it's interesting or remove it or create a new set. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and the little bell to be notified when new videos are released.